Welcome to the Summer DIY Challenge hosted by Heidi Sumble. Heidi's channel and playlist will be linked in the description box below. Thanks Heidi! Today I'm going to show you two beach themed projects. I'm Brandy and this is Making It My Own. So for project number one, we're going to start off with this little picture from Dollar Tree. This is a thrifted frame. And then I have some of these little wooden embellishments and two different kinds of rope to choose from. So I'm just getting an idea here of which ones I want to use. And out of those two packages, I've chosen some shells and some turtles. Now we're going to move over to the little canvas art. I'm using my little trimmer here, rotary trimmer that came from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to just cut through that canvas and remove it from the frame. I'm using some pliers to just remove the staples. I'm not going to make it too neat on the back, just clean it up a little bit because you won't be able to see this once it's down. Now we're going to reverse this so you can see how this will look. But first we're going to paint this. So I'm going to protect my surface here. That's just a cutting mat from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use some of this neutral gray paint to cover over this brown frame. I'm just using a sponge brush, but you can use whatever you have. I don't want to put it on too thickly because I want it to dry quickly so I can move on with my project. We're going to do all of the front and the sides and the inside area here. So in order to make everything cohesive, I'm also going to be applying some of that gray paint over these brown wooden pieces. I'm not going to put on a heavy coat here either. I just want this to look like it's kind of weathered, kind of washed like the frame, that larger frame that is off to the left there. It's going to be kind of streaky, kind of weathered and worn, and that's kind of the idea with a coastal or beachy looking thing. I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but I happen to live very close to the coast in Southern Alabama. So a lot of people from down here are still into the coastal thing. All right, I'm gonna take the back off and I'm going to cover it with some of this light, it's like a cream colored, like a really light, pretty cream colored burlap that I got from um, Goodwill. And I'm just gonna trim it down To fit over that backing and I did have some protective surface under there so I wouldn't cut my table and this is very easy to put down with just a little bit of hot glue protect your fingers because it will go right through this loose weave I'm gonna go all the way around here and do the same thing gonna get my corners folded under so that it makes a nice neat corner be sure you try to line this up so that you're, anytime you're using burlap over another surface so that you don't have a bunch of crooked lines that it may drive some of you crazy. It would definitely drive me crazy. And you can just trim up the back, make it look a little neater if you want to. But I won't need it because I'm going to show you another way to cover all that up in a little bit. So we're just going to secure those back down. And that's going to be our backing. Now we're just going to dry brush a little bit of white chalk paint over the top. If you look closely, you can see that you can still see the brown underneath. You can see the gray, and then you'll see this streaky white on here. It's a pretty look. And I think it looks very much like the bigger frame that we have in the background. You can make this as light or as dark as you want to. The idea is to be able to have everything sort of matching. Not perfectly, but you know, blending well together. Now we're going to do the same thing here with the frame. We're going to take a little bit of that paint on that Dollar Tree brush, bounce a little bit of it out of there, and then just start working around that frame. 
I'm gonna get the insides and all of the sides. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I did put a little bit too much in some spots, but after it dried, I sanded it down a bit. I'm not sure why it did that, if it's just the type of material this is made out of or what, but it's easy enough to fix. It's just a little paint. You can go back over it with paint, or after it's dry, you can use a sanding block like I did and just lightly go over it and it will blend it down. It, that's just so much better. Isn't that better? Yeah. All right. So I think everybody has seen this done and probably done it themselves, but just for those of you who don't know how, we're gonna just take some hot glue, go around that frame and lay it on top of the canvas. Kind of center it where you have things nice and squared up. And then you're gonna trim down all of the excess. You can go back over. If you don't get close to it, it's not a big deal. You can use an X-Acto knife or any equivalent of that or some scissors and trim it down. Then I'm going to place it down on top of the burlap. You can do that with some hot glue. I did that on the bottom as well. You can go across, you know, wherever you want to, but you gotta be careful with that canvas. If you put a bunch of glue underneath that, you're probably going to see it through there. So just stick to the area where the wood is touching the canvas. Now I'm going to use my embellishments here and there on the frame. I've chosen two different shells and a little turtle. And see how nicely all of that looks? It looks pretty close, doesn't it? Now I'm just going to use a little, I have a little tile here that I got from Goodwill and a big bag. I've got a bunch of these. I'm going to put that down and it's going to act as a little riser for my turtle so that he stands off a little bit and it gives him a little bit of dimension. He's going out to sea. Yeah, I had a little music going so I was dancing. Now I'm going to take this lighter color rope. I decided that that looked a little bit better with the background, that cream colored background. And I'm just going to trim out the frame with this. Looks like nautical rope to me. So I think it'll work well. All right, the end that is finished, I'm gonna place down in the bottom corner and then just run some glue right along there. And then all the way around the corners and the sides until you get back to your starting point. I love these challenges that Heidi puts out. It's such a great opportunity to get to meet other people and to check out other people's channels. And I really appreciate the opportunity and all the work that goes into it on Heidi's behalf for all of us who are trying to grow our channel. Okay, so there we go. To the bottom just pressing it down and toward the frame so there's no gaps and it's nice and neat. And then I'm just going to trim up the edge so it looks again nice and neat. And then we're going to need something to hang it with. And rather than just putting a hanger on the back, I like the look of this chunky rope. So we're going to use this as a hanger. And we're gonna do a little magic in a moment that's gonna make this look like it is going through the frame. To take some of the bulk out and to make it a little bit thinner so the back is closer to the surface that we hang it from, I've just unwound it, the rope just a tad. This is a very soft, cotton-like material. I'm gonna press it down, then add a little more glue on top and a little scrap of paper to hold it in place. Same thing on this side, and then you can just take your scissors and cut off whatever is left underneath your little paper. Simple enough. All right. Now here is where the magic happens. We're gonna take that same rope and tie a little knot 
with a little, make sure that you have some end hanging out there. And we're gonna do the same thing. Um, cut off that end right there so that you have the about the same length on both sides. And then kind of take that rope apart on the end so that it looks frayed. And then you're just gonna glue that knot right there on the frame so that it looks like that other rope has went right through the frame. Is that not the coolest idea? You're gonna do the same thing for the other side, trim it off. I'm using these, they're called bull nose pliers, but they're used to pull nails and do all kinds of cool things. I love them, they're just such a good tool. And they cut, they cut really well through thicker things, so I like to use it for wire and thick rope and that sort of thing. And I'm just gonna do that in an approximation to where the rope would be coming out if we drilled a hole. And just fluff out those ends, and look at that. Isn't that cute? It looks like it is tied through the frame. Okay, so now we need to cover up the back. So you can use a scrap of whatever you have. This happens to be a piece of backing from some paper. I think that my kids had some crafting paper. And you're just gonna glue that down to the back and it's gonna cover up all the hardware and be nice and neat for you. So that's project number one. What do you think? Be sure you stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna show you what these look like outside. Follow me on my social media, guys. Love to see you there. Okay, for the next project, we're gonna do a little wreath. We're gonna start off with this sign that I got from Dirt Cheap, but it originally came from the Dollar Spot or Target's Bullseye, whatever it's called. And I'm gonna use a little bit of spackle that came from Dollar Tree and just a little stick, a little craft stick that I have here. And I'm gonna fill in those holes. I have a 14, I think it's a 14 inch. It may be this, no, it's the smaller wreath that you can get at Dollar Tree. And I just wrapped it with some burlap fabric. I use my wreaths over and over again. That little turtle came from Goodwill. And then this ribbon here also came from Goodwill. I'm gonna make a really simple little bow here, wrap it in the middle to secure it. I'm gonna trim off my ends and then trim off this little piece because we don't need this for a tail. This is so, so very simple. I'm gonna put down some hot glue and put the bow on. And then kind of get an idea of where I wanna put this. Easy enough, a little hot glue, and press it down. Then I'm gonna take my little turtle, which I've already used a little bit of antiquing wax on his back because that's a little piece of metal there. A little piece of galvanized metal. And I'm gonna add a little bit of glue on his little feet, his little flippers, and place him down just at an angle. And then I'm gonna go back in and just kind of blend that out a little bit more. This is a bow that was from a project that I did from my patriotic DIYs and I saved it of course and then I'm just gonna add that on there too I'm gonna take the little greenery pieces off of these thrifted flowers because they look to me like something that would be in the ocean like seaweed or kelp or something that would be found on the ocean floor so I'm gonna use these pieces cut them off and just tuck them around the bow and around my turtle and here and there around the wreath. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to give you a big welcome. I hope that you subscribe if you like my videos. If you're enjoying the video, I'd love it if you would give me a thumbs up. And at the end, I'm going to show you what these look like outside, so stay tuned. This is so easy to do. I want it to look like it's under him and not blocking the sign, so I'm just tucking it underneath. Things will 
glue very easily to that burlap backing. That's one of the reasons I love to have it on my wreaths because it's so easy to work with and things just stick to it really well. All kinds of embellishments and ribbons. So when we leave the house, if we go to the beach or if we go out to the lake, I can put this up so everybody knows we're not home. Find me at the beach. So here we have it outside. This is outside on my house. We do live in a log cabin in Southern Alabama. And this is how it looks. And I would like your opinions if you like the first one or if you like the second one the best. And I would love to know in the comments if you're planning on doing either one of these or if you learned anything new from my video today. Here is the second one, our pretty little at the beach wreath. Be sure that you check out the rest of the videos in the playlist and that you go check out Heidi. Again, I have her channel link and the playlist linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you'll come back and see me again and I will see you again real soon. Bye.